Hello everybody and welcome back to day three of the four day lead generation challenge. Well done for getting this far. We are now over halfway. There's only two more days to go including today. So we are, you're nearly there and you will know everything you need to do in order to maximize your opportunities when they arise um, through whatever means of lead generation you're currently doing. So basically all I wanted to do um, in this video is just show you a couple of really short um, examples um, of how to be more consistent um, with your lead generation and content production because I know a lot of people are very good at writing content and um, but the one thing which I think I struggled with which I think most people struggle with is actually producing content now I've I've set myself a few challenge in terms of like doing these um, four five seven day challenges um, that's me producing lots of video content and PDF downloads and things like that. So that's me being prolific at producing content. It also means that I have to produce um, content for the Facebook group um, for you guys so that I'm accountable because otherwise I'd be like everybody else. I If I didn't make the promise that I was gonna um, deliver something to you once a month, then it probably wouldn't happen. So I have specific ways of making sure that these things um, actually go ahead and do happen. Um, so the first thing which I do is I, I tend to run a, I haven't got it with me here unfortunately, but I, I run a, um, like a wall planner where I put all of my events, lay all of my events out for the following um, 12 months. So that's for uh, the networking group I run, that's for the challenges within this group, it's for the Q&A webinars, it's for the um, quarterly workshops. So anything which I have to do, I, I pl first of all plan out um, into a, um, into some kind of a wall planner. What I then do is I plug it into my Outlook calendar. So if we, I'm gonna show you, just share my screen now, and I'm gonna show you what my calendar looks like. But you'll see here, these things in orange, which appear at the top, are the really important things which I've got coming up. Um, so for example, the content for the group, so the webinar Q&A and StroudNet. Um, I've also got my days when I'm filming. So there's that's me filming the next five day challenge. And then a week later, you'll see that then the five day challenge is delivered here at the end of June and heading into July. So um, so that's kind of um, how, I, how I manage my time. Uh, one of the key things to remember through this though is it takes um, 30 to 60 days to form habits. So it's taken me a long time to get to a point whereby all of these sorts of things in here have become sort of habitual. Um, and uh, there are a couple of other tools which I um, which you need to kind of grab hold of. And I know a lot of you use these tools, which I recommend already. Um, but you need a very simple to-do list application. So the one I use is called Todoist. Um, and basically, I put in reminders. You can see here, there's a, a tiny little whirly gig just next to my expenses, for example. Um, now, I know this isn't content. Um, that's not content related. Um, or lead generation um, related per se. But basically what you can do in, in, in Todo is to say um, content production every day. And they, it's highlighted it as green and you can tell it to ignore Saturdays and Sundays um, and then add the task. And so what that'll do is it'll put a daily reminder in into Todoist, it'll also send me an email, um, uh, a list of all my to-do items in an email summary at five o'clock every single morning. So the moment I'm, I'm ready to kind of start attacking my to-do list, and you'll see things like I've got in here. So I've got a LinkedIn post, that's every three days, I think it is, video for Instagram once a week, uh, Instagram post every three days, and then there'll be other things like which will pop up in here as well. And these are all just basically to remind me to log into those various different applications. Now, all I've got to remember to do, and this is the crux of it, this is the thing I want you to remember, all I've got to do when that email comes through into my inbox in Outlook is remember to click on the view into Doist option. That's it. And if I can do that every day for 30 days, I know that I'm a step closer to being more consistent at producing content and getting more leads. Okay, now the good thing about content is you want, if you produce evergreen content, it leaves a digital footprint. So you do it once and it can work over and over and over again. So you imagine it's not just a straight line of content basically being produced and going out. In terms of the impact it has, it's exponential. As you add more content, it gets more 
it works harder and harder for you. So all I've got to do is remember to hit the little but little link in the Todoist email, view this on Todoist, and it takes me to this screen. And then all I do is I say, right, I've got to do my expenses today. I've got to check my insightly tasks today. I've got to do my positive affirmations. I've got to do my LinkedIn post. I've got to do my video for Instagram. And I just tick those things off. It's just one thing to do. And you get into the habit, you learn how to make it easier for yourself. I'm not gonna tell you how to make it easier. I've told you about how to research content and things like that. On a daily basis, I want you to be noticing stuff. I want you to be noticing things about your business and your clients and stuff like that that you could potentially write about. And then in here, underneath where it says LinkedIn post, you could add a comment. So write a post about lead generation. So that next time that pops up in my Todoist, I can go, ah, I've put something in there. Write a post about lead generation, excellent. And then once I've done it, delete it and tick the task off. And that is it. It's all you've got to remember to do. There's another couple of tools which I also use in order to make my content better and to help me do it more consistently. So the first one, um, you may, may or may not be able to notice it, but um, down in the bottom, down here, there's something called Linked Helper. And I don't know if you noticed in one of the earlier videos as I was scrolling through, if for example, like on this one, you've got 27 likes, you can add those likers to Linked Helper, okay? And then what you can do is send them a message. Hey, I saw you like that link, um, that post which I put out there about the yes problem. Um, here's a download sheet which I've created for it. So you could send them another piece of content via LinkedIn Messenger using using likers, um, so uh, using the add likers to linked helper function. Uh, and there's loads of other cool stuff which I'm not gonna go through today, but linked helper is a great way of building your connections and making best use of your content. So that falls into the follow-up camp, so I'll be talking about that a little bit more in the next video of why that's important. Um, the other thing which you'll notice, there's a little um, tube buddy icon in here, and if I actually click into one of my videos, which I've produced, or reproduced, um, it pops up with this tube buddy best practices. So now, I'm not just producing content, and we'll show the completed ones. I'm not just producing content on a regular basis, but I'm actually producing high quality content because it's in, I've added my videos to a playlist. I've captioned them, I've added tags. Um, I've added end screens, I've added info cards. I've uploaded a, a high res thumbnail. My characters are right length. I've turned on monetization. So you can start to see that this content is, con is going to be of a consistently high standard. So it's not just about producing content prolifically, it's producing high value content that's gonna help people. Um, you know, it might be that, um, and actually also producing like value in here for people, like giving them valuable tips, just one tip, a nice catchy headline, a bit of information, so information, education, and then a bit of, bit of value at the end of it. Here's a tip that I recommend you do. And if you do those things on a daily basis, so you've got to pr get into the habit of practicing these things, set up Todoist, get the daily reminders, hit the link, go and view this on Todoist, tick off your repetitive tasks, make sure that you're posting to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Facebook, to Instagram on a regular basis, um, and use tools to make sure you do that. But you have to be disciplined, that is the key thing. You have to be disciplined. And that is how you become prolific at producing great high quality content on a regular consistent basis. And that will ultimately help you to produce leads. Through doing that, I've recently in the last week produced leads through Instagram, through YouTube, and through um, LinkedIn, as well as my book and my podcast. So that's five different media working for me, of which I've got followers across all of them now. And even still, like you've got to remember this is an 18 month journey that you've got to get to in order to produce the content that starts working for you, going like that in that exponential curve. It doesn't just go like that, it goes exponentially. So you get the least wins now, you get the most wins in 12 to 18 months time. Hope that makes sense. 
So uh, tomorrow's video, uh, day four of the four day lead generation challenge, we're gonna be talking about follow up and how important that is. I'm gonna show you a couple of tools, kind of touched upon it with Linked Helper, but I'm gonna show you a couple of other tools which I use in order to help me follow up. Um, because follow up is the key to making sure that you're converting leads and I'll give you a couple of examples as to why. So take care, see you tomorrow.